North Carolina's rural hospitals are bracing for additional cases of COVID-19. And earlier today, I spoke with one medical facility that says because they canceled elective surgeries, they are far better prepared. Rural hospitals in areas like Lillington, Dunn, and Sanford are like any other hospital in the state. They have to be prepared for patients with COVID-19. An early decision is one reason Central Carolina Hospital in Sanford is better equipped than it might have been. Hospital CEO Spencer Thomas. Because we're not doing uh, elective surgeries, that certainly helped with, uh, with inpatient admissions. Our emergency room has not been as busy as it normally is, so we feel like we're in good shape right now to absorb any sur surge of patients that might come. Um, we also have contingency plans, uh, you know, should we get into the situation where the, the, the surge uh, outpaces our physical bed capacity. So that means we might have to look at it, uh, setting up uh, additional beds in procedural areas or other parts of the hospital where we might not normally keep inpatients. Thomas says there is communication between hospitals if one needs something like ventilators that another isn't using. So. Should Central Carolina uh, not be as hard hit as another area, uh, we would be able to help out and vice versa. Uh, but right now we feel comfortable with the uh, equipment that we've got. Masks and gowns, you have enough? We, we have been working very hard to conserve our PPE over the last couple of weeks and to sort of build a stockpile uh, to make sure that we've got what we need. Uh, we're like many hospitals in that, uh, you know, we're observing conservation strategies uh, we have asked for community donations if, uh, for businesses or individuals that might have surgical masks or N95 masks or respirators that they'd like to donate to the hospital. We would certainly appreciate that. What would you say to people who are concerned, not quite sure what lies ahead, just to reassure them? If folks are sick and they need our help, we're here. Uh, our doctor's offices are open. Our emergency room certainly is open. Uh, and we're here if you need us. Good to hear that positive attitude, too. Sanford currently has one person who's hospitalized with COVID-19. That person is in ICU. The state is also asking for retired medical personnel to volunteer. So far, 1,000 have said yes.